Hey guys, so I was absolutely inundated with requests for this look, which is the look, more or less, that I wore in my last favourites video. I actually got a bit of a kind of a fright when everyone started asking for me to do the tutorial on this, because I couldn't exactly remember what I used. I had to think really hard about it, because basically I was just using loads of new products that I've gotten recently, just to kind of try them out. The main kind of guy was this new palette from the Temperature Rising collection by MAC, and this powder by the by Mac as well, the Baking Beauties collection, and um, another couple of bits, but you'll see them throughout the video anyhow. Yeah, it's a real summer ready, like nighttime look. I think it's real um, bronzed up. Even though my skin isn't particularly bronzed, it's just like the eyes and lips, which is what I think is a good way for pale people to kind of bronze themselves up, not necessarily dealing with the skin. But anyhow, I hope you like it. Go ahead and watch the tutorial and a full list of products will be on letsmakeup.com as usual. Thanks a million guys. So I began by applying this gorgeous Vichy Idelia BB cream onto totally clean skin. It doesn't really play well with others, so it's better not to use a moisturizer underneath if you can. I have it in the light shade and it gives the most beautiful radiance to the skin. Next I applied some of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer underneath the eye. I love this as a brightening concealer um, rather than adding too much pigment. I do need a slightly darker concealer later on just to cover the very dark areas. So this pencil is from MAC's main summer collection this year from Temperature Rising and it's one of the Power Chrome eye pencils in Rich Glance which is a very pale gold but it's an absolutely beautiful eye base. It, acts quite similar to the paint pots but you can put it on literally from the pencil itself so it's really handy and I just use my finger to blend it out. Then I use this gorgeous pearl matte face powder pink buttercream from another current collection Baking Beauties and it did have a white overspray along the outer um, edge of the powder which I had used initially as the highlight but there is still just enough to use as the highlight here and then I used the pink closer to the center as the inner corner highlight on my eye. This is another product from the Temperature Rising collection and it is the Bare My Soul Eyeshadow Quad which has the most beautiful kind of bronzy golds in it and a gorgeous um, deep green as well. I use the Bare My Soul Eyeshadow which is the yellow gold here you see on the main part of my lid but I also applied a little bit more of that pearl matte face powder just to blend in with the inner corner highlight and then I moved to the Romantico Eyeshadow to cover the rest of the eyelid. This Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC is one of my favourite of their products out at the moment and it's from the In Extra Dimension collection. They actually have loads of collections out at the moment and I used the light gold highlight part as a highlight for the centre of my lid before lining my um, inner lids or inner water lines with a black coal pencil. Normally I curl my lashes before applying any eye products but I had forgotten at this stage so I just use my Tweezerman curlers here to curl them and I usually have to guide my longer lashes into the curlers. Next I use the darkest eyeshadow Friendly from the Quad which is a beautiful deep chocolate brown kind of bronzy colour and I applied this to the outer corner of my eyelids and also used it to start building up the deepest crease colour. I've been using this highlighter powder on my eyes a lot this month actually since getting it so far and the darker more intense golden brown I've been using this as a transitionary color for smoky eyes it just works really well um, at, with smoky eyes and particularly for these kind of bronze looks. And since I've used so much shimmer on the eye so far, I wanted to use a matte shade for underneath the lower lid, particularly because shimmer shades can show up lines under here as well. So I used a makeup designer -y color in top for this. And then I went back into my highlighty color just to blend that in with the inner corner. I then used Makeup Designery's Espresso Eyeshadow, which is a beautiful, deep, warm, rich chocolate brown, and it's matte again. And I used this to line the lower lids um, as well as the upper lids. I didn't really want to use a really harsh black gel or liquid eyeliner for this, and I used an angled brush just to push this in place.
Then using a fine tipped crease brush, I went into the lightest color in my palette, which is a really light kind of yellow based brown. And I used this to blow out the darker brown. And then I just finished off the eye look or the eyeshadow look rather by using the darker brown again, just to build up the crease and to perfect any areas with that as well. Then to define my eyebrows, I used Catrice's Cheap and Cheery Eyebrow Set with an angled brush. This comes in two shades. I kind of dip into both and use the darker shade then for the tail of my eyebrows. And this gives a really lovely color and definition to my eyebrows. And I used the equally cheap and cheery I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara by Essence, which has a wand just like the MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara on the upper lids, which gives really lovely volume. And then I used a smaller brush by number seven in their Exceptional Definition Mascara on my lower lids because I wanted more definition here rather than volume. To cover the darkest little section on the inner area of my lower dark circles, I used Max Mineralize Concealer in NW20 along with a eyeshadow blending brush. And then I used Max Full Coverage Foundation in NC15 as my face concealer. This is brilliant, especially for photography because it has no SPF, but it's just like their other concealer in the pot, the um, studio finish concealer, but the only difference really is that there's no sunblock in this. Then I used the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in light to set everything in place. I wanted to keep the cheeks relatively understated, so I used Illamasqua's Primal Blusher, which is a very light, taupey color, and I used this to contour my cheeks and nose very lightly. Then I applied my lip primer at this stage just to give it a chance to set by the time I get to my lips after finishing off my cheek. I used the darker half of the Double Definition Skin Finish as my blusher before applying the Baking Beauty's Pearl Matte Face Powder as my highlighter to my cheeks and nose and cupid's bow. Then to define my lips and give them a base, I used this e.l.f. lip liner in Crystal D12, which I had forgotten about for ages and just rediscovered. It has a really lovely shade to it. I lined and filled in my lips, but blotted off any excess before applying this Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Nude Eclipse, which is just the most beautiful nude color. And I used the built-in lip brush from the e.l.f. lip liner just to brush that in place. And that finishes the whole look off. So I hope you enjoyed this guys and I'll chat to you all really soon in my next video. Slán!